everybody, I'm Corinne Blackstone and welcome to my craft room. Before we get started, be sure to subscribe to my channel, that way you don't miss out on any of the fun crafty content that we have coming. In today's video, I am going to talk to you a little bit more about some of my favorite things from Amazon. You guys loved part one so much and asked for a part two, so here we go. And if you missed part one, I will link it up here and in the video's description. I'll also have links for everything that I talk about in the video down below for you guys as well so that you can find it all super duper easy. So without further ado, let's get started. Whatever we would do, we do it just for fun. One of my very favorite things that I got from Amazon quite a while ago is VLR by Albachem. This is vinyl remover. This is great if you mess up with HTV. Rather than heating it from the back, you can just use a little bit of this liquid chemical on your shirt or your fabric and it takes the vinyl off no problem. It works super well, it's pretty inexpensive, and it lasts forever. Now, mine lost the cap a while ago, so yours will have a normal cap on it. Um, mine just has a wire nut, but it does the job, and this stuff is fantastic. Now, it does have a little bit of a smell to it, kind of like an acetone smell, so I would recommend using this in a ventilated area, but it is great. And I also do recommend wearing some sort of gloves because it can dry your hands out an awful lot. You don't need a lot to remove your letters and it's super, super simple. This is, like I said, fantastic if you make mistakes. I recommend that every crafter have this in their craft room because none of us are perfect and we all make misspellings. We all put the wrong colors on. Maybe you didn't get it centered, but this will save you from wasting a ton of shirts and other things. That way you can fix any mistakes that you make really quickly, really simply, and you're saving yourself a lot of money in the long run. This is another must-have for any crafter, I think, and this is a paper cutter. They come in a ton of different styles, and I don't know for sure if they still sell this exact one because I've had this since before I got married in 2017. We used it to make our paper flowers, which we made by hand. I didn't have a Cricut yet. I wish I did, but I didn't. But what's great about this is it's not just for paper. It's great for vinyl, especially if you want to cut down vinyl to fit on things like your joy or you just want really straight lines when you are cutting out a decal or something like that. This makes it super, super simple. It's great for cardstock as well. I use it all the time, and honestly, like I have had this for years, and it is still just as sharp as the day that I got it. You can cut multiple layers with it, and it's really, really easy, and it's super simple, and it's really safe, which is nice as well. It does lock in place so that the guillotine part isn't just like flailing about. It has great measurements on here, and I absolutely love my paper cutter. Again, great for not just paper. You can really use it with vinyl. HTV2 works in this, so it's really fantastic. It's going to save you a little bit of time. You're going to have straighter lines instead of having like those wavy lines. If you guys have watched me long enough, you know I cannot cut a straight line to save my life. I've never been able to, and this has really saved me from having all of those messy cuts. Another great reason for this is if you have a solo, having that straight line cut at the top of your vinyl when you go to roll it in without a mat is super important so that it stays nice and straight the whole time that you're cutting. So definitely invest in a paper cutter. There's tons of different styles. I'll put a couple down below if I can't find this exact one, but I've had this one a really long time and I really like it. This is definitely the smallest item on our list, but one of my favorites. This is an engraving tool for your Explore machines. Now, as you know, the Explore technically cannot engrave, but somebody did create an engraving tool that fits into the Explore. Now, keep in mind that this does technically void your warranty, but I can tell you I've used it a ton and have never had an issue with my machine. It works great. It's perfectly fine. Like, I haven't had any kind of performance problems since using it. So just kind of use it with a little bit of caution because it does technically void your warranty. And that's something that I want you guys to be aware of. Using any aftermarket tool or adapter does avoid your warranty with Cricut. So just be aware of that. But if your machine is over a year old, you don't have a warranty anyways. So, you know, use it at your own risk. But I've used them many times with zero issues. Now what's great is that you can engrave all sorts of things. This works with like leather and acrylic, and I've done a lot of really, really fun things with this. I'll link a couple videos down below where I've done engraving. Now even though some of my videos I've done engraving with are on the Maker, you can do the same stuff 
with the engraving tool for your Explore machines. So this works in all the Explore series. This does not work with the Cricut Joy. It is a pretty small little guy and it is like all metal. It's really good quality and I've dropped this on the floor like a hundred times and it's perfectly fine. So it is really well made, fits perfectly into your slot A and it's just a really fun tool to use. So if you're looking for this, I've linked it down below, the exact one that I ordered. That way you guys know it's the one that I used. I've had this since probably think 2019 and I absolutely love it. I've made it tons of stuff and it's really fun to be able to engrave with your Explore machine. And honestly, I think it's really cool. It's great that somebody came up with this idea and was able to produce this. So if you wanna check this out, it's linked below. This is another aftermarket product that I really, really love to use with my Cricut. This works with the Maker and the Explore machines, including the threes. And what this is, is it's an entire box of pen adapters. Now what's great with this is it comes with a little cheat sheet because each of these has a code on it and this will tell you what the code is that goes to the adapter and what pen it fits. I've written a few little notes on the top of my box as well so that I can kind of keep track because sometimes I find pens that fit that weren't on this list that you can use with these adapters as well. I'm really, really happy with these. I've got a whole video on these and like what pens that I can use with them, which I'll link below for you guys and link up here in that corner. These are really inexpensive. You get a ton of them. You actually get two of each. And I've used them in both my Explore machines, my Maker and my Maker 3, and I've not had any issues. These go right into your clamp B. You pull out the original Cricut one, which is just a white um, piece, and then you can just replace it with these with the pen inside. You can use a ton of different Bic pens, Sharpies, gel pens. There are so many different pens that you can use with these. Like I said, I've got a video that lists all the ones that I have on hand that I've used and used successfully. So you be sure to check that one out because there are so many amazing colors and pens and finishes that you can use with these adapters. That way you're not just stuck with what Cricut has to offer. These are awesome, but again, keep in mind because it is aftermarket, it does technically void your warranty. I've used them a ton. I've never had a problem works just fine, but just be aware that once your machine is a year old, you don't have a warranty anymore. So I wouldn't really worry too much. Again, I've really used them a ton and I've not had any issues. Now these are specifically by Craverland and I really, really love these ones, but I'll link a couple others that I have down below as well. So you can check out the different options and see which one might work best for you. Last but not least, are these awesome laminate sheets. So these are holographic, which they're probably a little bit hard to see on the screen right now, but they are absolutely gorgeous. And I'll get you guys some up close views of these so that you can see them a lot better. Don't wanna grow. really fun Harry Potter stickers with them and they come in a bunch of different finishes so you have like big sparkles there was like flowers and stars and butterflies and they're really really fun I got these from Amazon you get a huge package of them and they work fantastic now I did these ones on Starcraft but I have also used needle labels with this laminate. I have used this laminate over vinyl as well to give it a holographic look. And it's really, really fun to use. I find that it holds up really, really well. It does not really take much time to put this on either. Applying this is super easy. I'll put a video link down below so that you guys can see how I used the laminate paper and I made stickers with it. It is so fun. You get a ton of sheets of this and I am obsessed. It's so simple to use, it really does add that extra layer of protection to your stickers, as well as giving them that extra really fun finish. Now, if you are a sticker seller, I can tell you holographic stickers like these sell for a little bit more than just a plain sticker, so keep that in mind as well. This is pretty inexpensive for a really big pack of it, and you're able to sell your stickers for a little bit more, so you can usually make a little bit more of a profit on them by using something like an extra laminate that makes them just a little bit extra special. Now you'll note that I do have some scraps left behind because I do make sure to cut my laminate down so that it does not cover my registration marks 
if I'm cutting with my Cricut. So what I do with those little extra little pieces, a lot of times I will put those over decals and things like that that are vinyl and I can add that extra little bit of sparkle to those as well. So don't think that you only have to use these on things like a print and cut sticker. You can use this on cardstock as well. It can just add that little bit of extra shine and pizzazz if you wanna make something just a little bit more sparkly and shiny. I hope you guys had fun checking out some of my most favorite things from Amazon. I've linked all the videos down below for you as well as the items that I talked about in this video. If you're not seeing the full description, there is a little down arrow right over here and if you click that, it will bring up the entire description so that you can see everything that I included in my favorite Amazon stuff part two. If you want more of my favorite Amazon stuff, let me know down below. There is so much that you can find on Amazon. Most of my filming equipment is from there. I got lots of other things from there as well, including the rhinestones for the top of my machine. You guys always ask about those, so I'll link these below for you too. Really super fun. You can get all kinds of different colors for that as well. If you have something that is your favorite from Amazon, let me know down below, because if I don't already use it, I wanna check it out. So let me know what it is and I will take a look I will buy it and I will try it. I'm super excited to learn a few more of the favorite things that you guys use from Amazon because I think that it's so convenient and so fun and you can literally find anything on Amazon. If you guys have any questions or anything else, you can always leave those down in the comments below as well. I love getting to chat with you guys, so be sure to leave some comments. Give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I had so much fun making it. I always love going through my favorite things with you guys. And I hope you guys have a wonderful day, and as always, happy crafting.